Welcome back and happy Tuesday. It's your good news day. Baptised into Christ. That's my topic today. Baptised into Christ. Now, as with every baptism, there are three components. Remember 1 Corinthians 10 and verse 3. All of them, the Jews, were baptised by God, second component, into Moses. And then 1 Corinthians 12 and verse 13, we, Christians, one component, were all baptised by the Holy Spirit, second component, into the body of Christ. Now the Apostle Paul goes on to explain the meaning of this in the letter to the Romans. He didn't work it out logically. He got it by revelation. And this revelation is what I'm going to read to you from Romans 6, verses 3 to 11 in the Amplified Bible. Are you ready? Are you ignorant of the fact that all of us who have been baptised into Christ Jesus were baptised into his death? We have therefore been buried with him through baptism into death so that just as Christ was raised from the dead through the glory and power of the Father, we too might walk habitually in newness of life, abandoning our old ways. For if we become one with him in the likeness of his death, we will also certainly share fully in the likeness of his resurrection. We know that our old self, our human nature, without the Holy Spirit, was nailed to the cross with him in order that our body of sin might be done away with so that we would no longer be slaves to sin. Therefore, this being so, consider yourself to be dead to sin and your relationship to it broken, finished, ended, but alive to God in unbroken fellowship with him in Christ Jesus. Now, you need to go back and read that again, probably in the notes below the video. But in summary, Paul is saying that if we are in Christ, our old selfish nature is dead. And we shall consider it to be so. I'm dead to that. I'm dead to that. We now have a new godly nature which wants to please God. This, of course, comes into agreement with what he wrote to the church at Corinth. 2 Corinthians 5.17, well-known scripture. If any man is in Christ, baptised into Christ, he's a new creation. The old nature has passed away. All things are become new. Peter wrote this. By his divine power... He has bestowed upon us, past tense, absolutely everything necessary for life and through his precious and magnificent promises he made it possible to escape from the immorality in the world and we become sharers of his divine nature. You've got his nature now, a new nature. Now, how did I die? It says I was crucified with Christ. I was, my old sin nature was nailed to the cross. How did that happen? Well, I may have repeated the story before, but uh, I need to just quickly say it again. In the First World War, my grandfather narrowly escaped death by gassing with chlorine. He escaped. It was a miracle. He just broke rank and, and uh, he missed the uh, bombs that were coming at them. Everybody else was wiped out in his platoon, but he survived. That was 1917. After the war, he married my grandma. And she, of course, gave birth to my mum. And my mum gave birth to me. Now, if my grandfather had died in 1917, I would have died in him. See that? That's God's logic. That's God's way of thinking. Now, my part to consider the fact that when Jesus died, I died. I have to consider that when he was crucified, I was in him. I am in him. 
I was in him. So when he was crucified 2,000 years ago, my old nature was crucified. That's what it means to be baptised into Christ. We were baptised into his death. Remember, we are members of his body, flesh of his flesh and bone of his bone. Ephesians 5 and verse 30. Otherwise, oh, some people say we're bone of his bone. That's a lovely way of saying it. we're just bone of his bone. Hallelujah. When the temptation to sin comes along, to lie, to be unfaithful, to cheat, etc. We just say, I'm dead to that. I died a long time ago. Huh? You look pretty alive to me. No, no, my old nature died. My old nature is dead. I am baptised into Christ. Now, we need to decree these truths. So let's just do a little bit of decreeing before I finish for today. Father, I decree, I am joined to the Lord as one spirit. 1 Corinthians 6, 17. I decree that I am dead to sin, but alive to God, to God's spirit and to his purpose. Romans 6 and verse 11. I decree that my old nature is dead and I have a new nature. 2 Corinthians 5, 17, 2 Peter 1 and verse 4. And I decree that I benefit from all the promises in the new covenant. I expect to live long and live strong. Psalm 91 and verse 16. Now, if you've understood me today and followed this uh, God logic, that you, as well as I, we are both baptised, the Holy Spirit put us in the body of Christ, and we can expect to see supernatural signs and wonders coming along.